Hello, my sewing friends! I'm Noor Shirin from The Stitching Cultures. Attachable colors are one of the easiest ways to upgrade an outfit. In this video, you will learn how to sew a beautiful Peter Pan color. Moreover, free printable pattern is my gift. Let's get started. Before copying the pattern, fold the fabric lengthwise with the front side facing each other. You can either fold it into quarters and cut out four back and two front pieces at once, or fold it in half and cut out two pieces at two different placements. I cut the pattern by placing it twice to use my fabric efficiently. As you see, there are seam allowances on the pattern. You should match the edge without the seam allowances of the back pattern to the fold of the fabric. You should also place the grain line of the front pattern parallel to this line. After pinning the pattern to the fabric, carefully cut it out. The line marks in some corners are notches. Mark these notches by cutting small slits. Thus, when sewing the color, it shows you exactly where to sew. Here you see the pattern pieces you need to cut out of the fabric. You should also cut one back and two front pieces from the fusible interface as indicated on the pattern. You should also cut two pieces 30 to 40 cm long and 4 cm wide for the ties. At this stage you can fuse the interfaces on one back color and two front color pieces or you can fuse it after sewing like me. Place one back color and two front colors so that their front faces face each other and the snaps overlap. Then sew the seams where I have shown. Now open these seams and press them. Place the sewn upper and lower colors on top of each other with their front sides facing each other. But before pinning them, take the ties you have cut and fold them in half and press them. Then fold the folded edges in again and press. Sew both edges 1 mm from the edge as I have shown. Start to sew a little above the beginning, not start from the very beginning. Before you get to the end, fold the end of the tie into a triangle and then fold it inwards. You will be more comfortable if you make this fold before you start and pin it. After sewing the ties, place them 
1 cm from the corner inwards as I have shown. Do not leave the ends of the ties outside because you'll sew the edges. Sew all the edges 1 cm from the edge, leaving a 10 cm gap in the middle of the back color. Slow down when you get to the corners and lift the presser foot with the needle down when you are 1 cm from the end. Then turn the fabric and lower the presser foot, then continue sewing. When sewing, make sure that the seam allowances stay on the side you press. As I said before, I choose to attach my fusible interface after sewing, but you can attach it to the pieces without sewing the edges and the front and back color. You should fuse the fusible interfacing to the top fabric when the color is finished. Be careful if the top and bottom colors of your fabric if they are not same color or pattern. Trim the corners before turning the color inside out. Cut the notches on the neck edges. Then, turn the collar inside out through the gap in the back collar. Make sharp the corners by your needle. Press the seam by pressing the fabric back and forth with your hand. After pressing all the edges, sew a whip stitch 1 cm from the edge. If you want a more refined look, sew back stitch 1 mm from the edge. I chose the whip stitch.
Congratulations, you made it.